Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and The Sims 4. So for this video I came across a new challenge this morning that I thought sounded really cool and right up my alley. Um, it is a serial killer challenge. <laughs> um, now I initially when I came across it thought I gonna have to have mods and that sort of thing but it's not um, so I'll just basically um, quickly go through some rules so you can um, you have to invite sims into your property and basically capture them and keep them in there until they die um, each sim that dies you get 50 points um, and yeah, there's a whole heap of other scorings which I'll put in the description of the video in case anyone else wants to um, participate in this challenge. Um, so I will, I'm just going to read you this one. Um, so you have to wait outside your house until someone walks past, stop them and talk to them. Then, when the Go Here Together option is available, take them to their room and then leave and delete the door. Or we can just lock the door in this instance, um, given the fact that we can do that now. Uh, you could kill them by letting them starve or drowning them. You must keep their graves in your garden and banish their souls to the netherworld. <laughs> Count how many sims you have killed at the end of three weeks. You can either count their graves or count how many ghosts are in your relationships panel. Um, now, the trick to this one is you're not allowed to actually leave your lot. Um, and I think that's because when you leave and you come back, the people that you have trapped will be gone um, so that makes sense um, you need to create your sim which I have done um, here you can see him his name is Martin Pittman god he does sound like a serial killer doesn't he um, one of the traits must be evil which I've chosen evil insane hot-headed and from the um, Deviant's aspiration, he is also dastardly. So he doesn't really sound like a very nice person and someone that people are going to want to talk to, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so um, place your sim on any level you want. Um, just note you'll need space for you to live and rooms to lure sims. Uh, money cheats are allowed at the beginning when creating your house. Lifespan also must be long, which I think I've always got mine on long anyway. Um, yes, cool. Alright, so um, there are additional objectives. You can try to make children with some of the victims. Uh, <laughs> If you run out of space in your family, kill a child. Oh god. Um, the scoring still counts. Note that after that looking after babies ba ugh, ugh. Note that looking after babies there that's better will result in less time to trap victims because you must make sure they live. Unless you kill them to make space for more when you get up to eight family members. Okay. This sounds very sinister. God. Alright, so here is Martin and here is Martin's house. So I made it look really creepy. I downloaded this house from the gallery. It was just empty, it didn't have any rooms or anything in it, but the outside was done, so that's cool. So, on the inside, 
it's I mean it's it, it looks pretty dark um, but there are a few splashes of color here and there I mean there's not much in his kitchen um, I suppose he's not really the fancy style but anyway I sort of got a feeling of um, like maybe a vampire type sim living here obviously Martin is not a vampire um, although he does have a nice portrait of Vlad on his wall. But that's cool. So upstairs is um, where Martin's going to be living. He's got his bedroom, his little study, his bathroom, cute little seating area. Um, but yeah, it's basically pretty simple. Nothing sort of out there, all very dark, dingy colours. Now we're going to be keeping Sims in the basement. So down here, I didn't actually put any lights down here, which is actually fine because, I mean, he's not going to be worried about the comfort or anything like that. Um, and he's got these big windows and the doors. So what we'll do is once the Sims get in there, we will lock the door. Um, I'll see how we go with putting the Sims just in two different rooms. If when we bring in another victim, they try and the other ones who are already in there try and get out, I'm going to have to probably split it up into different rooms. But we'll see how we go. So um, the challenge goes for three weeks and it doesn't specify if that's real time weeks or sim weeks but I'm gonna go for real time weeks will I no no let's go for sim weeks actually um and then that way it's not gonna be a super long series given the fact that this is actually my first series in the sims um so yeah I mean I guess we can just crack right into it and start killing people okay so it is 8 30 on sunday morning so i will keep a log of um the days and whatnot and how many people we've killed and that sort of thing so yeah so I guess we just need to wait for a first sim to pass by. Oh, there's here one here already. Let's go. Oh, stop. Friendly introduction. Stop, woman. Is she stopping? No, why are you not stopping? Friendly introduction. Oh, there she goes. She's coming back. Who is this? Luna Villarreal. She's a teenager. Now, the rules... Don't specify that we can't kill teenagers, but anyway, all right. So let's uh, ask about the. Let's make him seem like he's a really lovely, lovely person. Um, hook up with. Oh God. Okay, I've never seen that before, but that's cool. All right. Discuss interests. Discuss interest. Hey Luna, do you like killing people too? Oh, here's someone else. Stop, stop, stop. She can be added to our group. Oi, lady, where are you going? Is she stopping? She's coming back, yes. Little does she know, she's probably going to be invited to her death. Okay, chat here. So, let's see if they'll both follow. I guess they will because we're in a group conversation. Wait, why can't they move there? Oh, what the? What is happening? Hold on. Um. Uh, lock door. I don't want to lock that door. I don't want to lock... Locked door for it? No. Um, okay, that's weird. Why can't they go there? Hmm. 
Okay, first challenge. Uh, ask to hang out. I'm a little bit confused. No, lady, stop. Stop, stop. Friendly, ask about career. Where is she going? Stop. Come back. Thank you. So. Chat here. Okay, so they can get in the gate. And that's not the issue. Let's see if they can get in the actual house and see if we can work out where the issue is. Chat here. Okay, so they can't, well, she can. Why can't she get up the steps? Luna! Is that Luna? Luna, what are you doing? Maybe... Okay, well, she's gone. Alright, so let's just get this one down here. She should be able to come down now. What is her name? Mila Munich. Okay, come on, Mila. Okay, so she looks like she... Yes, she's coming downstairs. Oh, and we've got a welcome party too. Perfect. Alright. So, this is where I'm going to find out if, say, if she's going to try and escape. Okay. Stop. Lock door for everyone but Martin. Because, obviously, I'm going to have to unlock the door bringing new people in. So my concern is, will me, uh, Mila try and escape? Invite neighbors in. Okay. Who, who have we got here? Dominic Fires. Gunther Munch. Moira Fires. And Siobhan fires. I think we have a husband and wife and a daughter, maybe? Possibly? Okay, so they're all in the house. Okay, now let's go and chat. Hopefully, they'll all join in the conversation. Greet new neighbor. Funny introduction. Greet new neighbor. Now I'm hoping these all chat together because then I can just load them all in at the same time. Okay, so I've got three of them. Who's missing? Moira is missing. Hey, Moira. Yes, okay. No. Pause. And let's see. And get them all to come down here and then I can briefly glad we got a chance to chat okay thank you are they all coming down well, let's find out okay so there's one two three four yes okay now allow access to Okay, unlock, and then we're going to chat here. I'm hoping she stays in there, because once they're all in there, I can get him out. Okay, lock door. Okay, come on, Martin. Martin, go here. Okay, so... Stop chatting! So we have five sims in our little room. Now, they're going to get uncomfortable very quickly, I think. Um, 
I'm not sure how they're going to um, die, obviously. I think probably starvation or exhaustion. Um, I'm going to say probably starvation. So we've got Moira, Gunther, Dominic, Siobhan, and Mila. Now, I think these three are family looks like it um so yeah so with those five down there let's see if we can back of the house let's see so we're not doing too bad i mean it's only been four hours um cool oh here's someone else friendly introduction oh he's so deceiving isn't he Oh, she's walking away. She doesn't want to chat. Where are you going? Is this Greta? Yes, Greta. Oh, she, every time I play The Sims in an apartment, she ends up just welcoming herself to the house. And it's really annoying. Like, she'll show up randomly in the middle of the night and just let herself in and chill out and watch my TV. So, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited to see her die. Although, she's an elder, so she might die of old age first. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Alright, so, I'm wondering, can she now come down here too? Hey, where'd that guy get food? He must have brought it with him. Well, he's not going to die of starvation first, is he? Okay. So, is Gita... I really should get going... No! Gita, where are you going? You can't leave. Oh, but here's someone else. Isis. Um, ask to hang out. Gita, stop. You stop. You stop. Um, friendly introduction. Stop, lady. Oh god, I feel like this guy is like, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer chasing people down the street, like luring them into his lair. Alright, so we've got both of them in a chat now. Let's see, can we invite them in here first? Come on. Yes. Okay, so we've got another two. Uh it's doing this thing again. Why? What does it mean? Can anyone tell me why that happens? I don't even think I've ever had it happen before. I've seen it happen on other people's videos, but I'm not sure how they fix it. Um maybe we need to strike up more conversation. I'm not sure. Let's try give it a go. I mean, they don't look too terrified. Oh, Gita! Gita! Okay, so they're getting along, so let's... Can we chat here? Come on. Is she going? Yeah, she's going now. Okay, weird. Maybe it's if one of them doesn't want to. Um... Where are you going? No, you can't leave. I'm wondering... Oh, yes. They're both here now. Okay. Um, Martin, stop where you are. Get to know. And tell girl's joke. Okay, so she's actually... Where's she going? Chat with Gita. And then chat here. Gita is self assured. Great. And Martin has acquired the charisma skill. Fabulous. Just what you need to be a serial killer. 
Okay, great, she's coming down. Okay, so unlock. Let's chat here. Quick, quick, before people try and escape. Okay, lock door for everyone but Martin. So I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six people now, which is great. And is this other chick still upstairs? She's on my computer. She deserves to die. Okay, um, friendly discuss interests. Because if we can lure her downstairs, then we'll have seven. I think we'll probably aim for eight to start with, maybe. Um, and I think that's probably good for a start. Um, so once we get her downstairs, we'll find someone else and then we'll... Um, that will be like my little introduction episode. Um, so, can we get her to come downstairs? Chat here. This is quite fun. Do you know what? I think it's really weird, but I have like this weird fascination with serial killers. I really should get going now. Dun dun dun. Ha, <laughs> door's locked. Um, yeah, I have this odd fascination with serial killers. Um, like, I love reading about them and listening to them. Like, I listen to, like, you know, true crime podcasts, and so that's why when I heard about this challenge, I thought, yeah, I need to do this. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm just scared now to unlock that door in case they'll try and get out. I'll get them to chat there, and in that way... I can unlock the door and lock the door pretty, get them in pretty quickly. Okay, unlock. No! Where are you going? No! See, this is what I was scared of. Alright, so... Reverse that. Mm, what I'll do is... I will finish the episode here. Um, I will do some adjusting to the house and I'll give them their own little individual rooms. Or at least, you know, if I've got a group of people coming together, I can lure them into one room and lock them in there. Um, that way there's not going to be anyone trying to escape. So um, what I might do though before I do that is look these doors and at least they can't get out of the house okay all right well thank you guys for watching um next episode yep i'll have the individual room set up and hopefully we have people start dying um and i'll look up some more sort of um creative ways that we can make people die like maybe we can drown them um try and maybe poison them or something like you know food poisoning or something like that but anyway um thank you for watching um don't forget to su subscribe to my channel um Give me a like if you like this video, leave me some comments in regards to creative ways that we can try and start killing people off. Um, and yeah, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!